The fifth and final free flight in October 1977 was to demonstrate a safe landing on the Edwards main runway instead of the lake bed. Each side of the runway was lined with employees and guests of Dryden for a closer view. The release and glide were uneventful, but as Enterprise neared the runway, a problem surfaced. The fly-by-wire computer system had a slight delay responding to pilot commands, and rapid control inputs led to a pilot-induced oscillation, or PIO. At landing, the vehicle touched down on the main gear, then bounced back into the air. It touched down again, and bounced again more shallowly, then touched down again, and coasted to a stop. Needless to say, the spectators along the runway, including Prince Charles, got more than they had expected. This PIO tendency was soon corrected with a Dryden-developed PIO suppression filter, that is, software changes to the flight control computer. Here, the F-8 digital fly-by-wire vehicle proved to be invaluable, testing various solutions until the best one was determined. Three and one half years later, in April of 1981, the excitement at Dryden was at a fever pitch again, with tens of thousands of spectators lining the east shore of Rogers Dry Lake, and a thousand or more news personnel scattered around, a loud double sonic boom signaled the return of the Space Shuttle Columbia back from a two-day mission to space. Edwards Air Force Base was and continued to be the primary landing site for the Space Shuttle until 1984. Since then, Edwards is considered the primary backup landing site for the Shuttle.